in German, we absolutely love, I have no idea why, but we absolutely love to import English words into German. But not only that, we just make up our own. We use English words that mean something completely different, or we just, you know, take something that sounds English to us and we think is really cool, and we just use it as normal German words. If you wanna know which 12 words we use in German that make absolutely no sense to a native speaker of the English language, then watch this video. The first word we look at is the beautiful word handy, which is indeed an English word. If something comes in handy, it means etwas ist handlich, yeah? it's good to have it. Or a handy man, a handy woman, is someone who comes to your house and repairs anything that's broken. That's handy in English. If in English we want to talk about our phones, we would say cell phone in American English or just cell and mobile phone in British English or just mobile. So you could ask, where's my mobile, but not where's my handy. That just makes no sense for an English native speaker. The second word is smoking. So if you're an English speaker and you hear this word, you will probably think of someone having like a cigarette or a cigar in their mouth smoking. We though use it as a special dinner jacket. So in English it would be the dinner jacket or American English it would be tuxedo or tax. Word number three, old timer. When we use the word old timer in German we mean a vintage car and this is what you would have to say if you speak to an English native speaker. This is a vintage car Old timer is an English word that does exist, but it means something that's old fashioned. It could also mean an elderly person or a veteran. So if you are super proud of the vintage car you just bought and you go to your colleague or your English speaking friend and say, I bought an old timer, they would probably not think that you got a really nice old car, but they might think that you bought a person. So you might want to avoid this mistake. Word number four is beamer. It's actually a projector in English. So, and there is also the word beamer, so, but let's talk about this a little bit later. We adopted the word beamer from the English word to beam. If you say beamer to an English speaking person, they either don't know what you're talking about or they think you are talking about a BMW, the big expensive car. Another word we borrowed from English is the word mobbing. When in German we use the word mobbing, we mean someone is really mean. In English, the word mobbing means to have a big crowd of people, lots of people who just all kind of come around you. So you could say a musician, a rock star, you know, he was mobbed or she was mobbed after the concert, meaning lots of people like rallied around her and came really close. The word mobbing, how we use it in German, would be bullying in English. Number six, box. Of course, the English word box does have a meaning in German, which would be our Kiste, die Kiste oder der Karton. But we often use box actually for an amplifier or for speakers. So anything that helps you, which looks like a box, you know, like a little Kiste, to make the music louder so that you can properly hear it. Number seven, a messy. We took this word from the English, which is a mess, das Chaos, Chaos, yeah, messy, something is messy, my room is so messy, I really need to tidy up. And then we also use it for people, someone who has lots of stuff and does not get rid of anything and does not tidy up. In English, the word is hoarder from the, the verb to hoard something, which is to have loads of stuff and keep it. Another English word that we use but would totally confuse English speakers if you used it in a sentence like after work I'm going to go to wellness it would not make much sense because wellness just means wohlbefinden yeah so like going out and have a walk in nature is good for your wellness for your physical and psychological wellness for you being well if you want to go to the sauna after work for example and have a nice massage you would say I'm going to the spa or I have a spa day. So wellness in German is spa, a spa day in English. Number nine, trampen. We borrow this from the English word to tramp or a tramp, 
but it's not the same as a Trempa. <laughs> ein Trempa. I have to say it in a German accent, sorry. Like, there's just no other way. A tramp in English is a vagabond, someone who keeps moving around, does not have a home of their own. So that's why the Walt Disney movie, which in German is Susi and Strolch, Susi und Strolch, sorry, the, the, the movie about the dogs, you know, the rich female dog in the... Um, other dog that's a bit wild in English is the lady and the tramp um, if you want to say that when you were younger you were wild and adventurous and you often would just you know go into other people's cars to get other places you put your thumb out you would say I hitchhiked or I was I am a hitchhiker number 10 a showmaster in English, you could use the word showmaster, but it would more be someone who's responsible for a circus or something. But what we would mean as moderator, their showmaster in, in German, so someone who's responsible for a TV show to, um, to moderate everything and to make sure that everybody knows when to do what and to have conversations with people. In English, this would be a TV host, a presenter, somewhat, sometimes you could say an anchor man, which would be more for the news. Showmaster in, in German, like it's like someone who masters the show, right? But in English, please rather use the host, TV host, presenter. There is also the word moderator, but usually that would this word would be used for someone who's responsible for leading a discussion and someone who hosts a TV show, for example, where different people argue about something or discuss a topic. Number 11 mailbox. If you want to say that you tried to call someone but they didn't pick up, you would say the call went to voicemail, not to mailbox. It doesn't like the mailbox would be for your mail, but if you want to say no one picked up, the call went to voicemail. And number 12, probably the worst of them all, please don't confuse this, is public viewing. So when we in German use public viewing and we invite someone to come to a public viewing, what we mean is come with us out to a cafe or a bar or a beer garden, have a nice drink in the summer when the weather is beautiful and let's watch soccer. In English though, public viewing has a completely different meaning and you will confuse native speakers of English very much if you invite them to a public viewing because in English if you use public viewing it means someone died and you go to pay your respect. So if you want to invite someone to watch soccer with you outside please invite them to a public screening of a soccer game. Do you remember all 12 and the correct English translation? Let's have a look at them all again. But before we do, could I ask you if you found this video helpful in any way to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel, that would be much appreciated. So let's have a look at the 12 words that look English, but aren't really. Number one, das Handy, British English, mobile phone or just mobile, American English, cell phone or just cell. Yes, smoking. British English, dinner jacket, American English, tuxedo or tux. Der Oldtimer, in English, a vintage car. Der Beamer is a projector, in English. Das Mobbing is bullying. Die Box, die Boxen is the loudspeaker or the speaker. Der Messi is a hoarder. Wellness is spa. You could have a nice spa day. Trempen means to hitchhike in English. Der Showmaster is a host in English. Could be a radio host, podcast host or a TV host. Die Mailbox is voicemail and the German public viewing is in English a public screening. Thanks for watching and see you next time.